Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris back for another review and today's update is for the Liam Neeson action flick, The Commuter on 4K. And if you may recall, a couple years ago Neeson stated that in a couple years he's going to hang up the cleats on action films. So this could very well be his last or second to last action film. But in my opinion, the guy can still go on for many more years if he really wants to. You know, he has great on-screen presence and still looks young enough to pull it off for a bit longer. And I really love the Taken movies that he did and of course his most famous line from it that goes something like, I will find you. I will kill you. So anyway, just my silly impression of him in that. So in the commuter, Neeson plays an insurance salesman named Michael, and he's on his daily commute home, but things quickly become anything but routine after being contacted by a mysterious stranger. And now Michael is forced to uncover the identity of a hidden passenger on the train before his last stop. And as he works against the clock to solve the puzzle, he realizes a deadly plan is unfolding and he's caught up in a criminal conspiracy that carries life and death stakes for everyone on the train. So yeah, this was a fun thriller, although a bit confusing at times, but a fun ride nonetheless. And this looks great on 4K with deep blacks and an overall warm feel to the image. Even the dark scenes look great, although it is a bit of a dark film to begin with. And the sharpness is maintained nicely throughout, just very small instances of softness, but not enough for me to lower my rating on. This also features the Dolby Atmos track, which came through perfectly well. So all in all, my rating for the 4K presentation is a 5 out of a 5 for both the picture and audio. The Blu-ray edition also looks great, however, it's slightly softer and the blacks aren't as deep as the 4K, but it's still a great looking presentation, which is why I'm going to rate it a 4.5 out of a 5. And certain portions of this film was shot in 3.4K and the other half was shot in 4K, but honestly, you can't even tell the difference. And regarding features, you get a couple behind the scenes featurettes and that's it, and the aspect ratio is in the 2x39 format. So closing it out, it's a fun thriller and Liam Neeson once again delivers the goods with a solid performance. And by the way, this also features Patrick Wilson and Sam Neo. So that is my review for The Commuter Guys making its 4K debut. Thanks for taking a look and as always, I'll see you guys soon in my next review. Take care.